my name is Daniela. I'm here with, in 2.0 conference today with Luis. I'm going to be asking you some questions today. Of course. Uh, please introduce yourself and the organization you're representing today. Well, thank you. My name is Luis Sanchez and I'm the founder and CEO of Ethics Link. It's a business consulting group mm -hmm. that helps companies uh, promote or implement ethics and compliance programs. Okay, great. So you are here at the CXO 2.0 conference. How are you feeling so far? about uh, being honored and this recognition? It's been great. I mean, just the yeah. entire experience has been um, a learning experience. It's great to be near people that are fighting your fights, yes. that are feeling your pain, and obviously that you're learning with them on best practices and what they're doing. Yes, it's all together. So uh, what advice you would give to someone who want to follow you or want to go in your footsteps right now? Oh, like wow. A younger person? <laughs> Two, uh, two words come into my mind, uh, patience and consistency. So be very patient because you're, you're in a world that, where you're promoting ethics and you're promoting compliance. And some leaders will back you up completely, but other leaders you'll struggle a little bit. So you need to have the patience and the consistency to continue doing it. Yes. Um, changing culture, whether if it's individually or an organizationally, it's very difficult. So you think that's the key? One of the two keys is persistence and patience. Of course, mm -hmm. of course. Consistency and patience, yeah. yes. So how has been this uh, networking experience for you so far in the expo? It's great. It's yes. great. You get to see a lot of leaders mm -hmm. that are working towards your same goals, but in different ways. So the experience has been really um, a learning experience, yes. but you enjoy the networking, you, in, you have fun with the panels and discussions that are going on. Oh, great. So where people can reach you, they want to contact you, you have a web page? Yes, anything? so you can, you can contact me at our, our web page, which is epicslink.com. You can find me at LinkedIn on Luis E. Sanchez and my profile, and I'm happy to discuss any type of uh, questions, comments, uh, best practices, that I can help you with. Okay, and how come ethics and compliance programs help companies succeed in the current area? Well, there, there are different goals, right? Mm -hmm. Ethics and compliance programs serve to uh, promote ethical organizational culture, yeah. but they also help companies identify the tools that they need mm -hmm. to prevent, detect, or respond mm -hmm. to their risks. Yes. And also, you're minimizing their costs by improving their processes, yeah. yes. and it will also help organizations in case of any type of misconduct so that enforcement agencies like the Department of Justice or other agencies to reduce their fines because they implemented these types of programs. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So how come this uh, type of program help small, uh, minimize uh, companies? Okay, so small or medium companies, I mean, there are, you wouldn't imagine the, the amount of companies that don't know or don't have a purpose. They have a product or a service to sell, but not yes. a purpose. So you help companies organize in their way mm -hmm. of how they're growing up, whether if it's small, to organize themselves, and while they're growing up, to improve better practices or better processes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Depends on, on, on the size of the company. Yes. So where do ethics and compliance programs fall in relation to ESG? So, for example, to have a, a culture of ESG in a company, you need ethical leadership and you need ethical culture, right? Yes. So ethics is a big, big uh, a word or big culture in a company to have or to implement ESG. But also um, socials and governance from the ESG are derive or are directly linked to the compliance factor mm -hmm. of complying with regulations. So that's the end sustainability, obviously, as yeah. well. So, the last question I have for you today is, how is the ethics and compliance industry using in AI? So, AI is a very important factor in the ethics and compliance uh, industry because you're using it to, uh, to promote tools for communication, improve tools for communication and education. In the due diligence element of the compliance program, you use it for sanction screening, improving um, how you are identifying risks in the company and data analytics. So, it's a really, really important tool. Mm -hmm. to have obviously okay and is there anything else that you want to share with us today no thank you for the interview and it has been great uh, i look forward to the next panel's discussions well thank you so much for being here and sharing all your knowledge with us no thank you so much mm -hmm. thank you for having me